Oh uh, hey, this is just going to be a quick video showing how different seven Simor DNFs happen. And so, to show these DNFs, I'm going to be using the same scramble for each type of memo DNF. And then afterwards I will be doing an X2 to explain where the DNF happened. So this is the scramble that I'll be using. So memo is IBKFCA. So, I'm going to go through each of the six, well, five of the six letters and show you what each DNF would cause. So, our first letter, I, which is minus three. So, say I execute minus two, and then I execute the rest of, this, the, rest of the memo and solve correctly. So, then, when I X2 after that, I get these two at the top the center and center and u edge unsolved okay so now onto the m2 dnf my memo for m2 on this scramble is b which is two i'm just going to execute a one to show what this looks like so which one if you x2 you'll have these unsolved you'll have this l and then another unsolved edge here and when you solve these, there will be no moves that affect parity. So there will be no moves with a slash, either slash, or just an all up. There will be none of them. Now, now on to M3, which this scramble is K, or minus 1. So I'm just going to execute minus 2 to show what that can look like. So... Which one if you x2, these two edges will be unsolved. Okay, now on to well I'm not going I'm I am not going to show M4 because that is a move on the front, which is also an intuitive move. And so if you you can just see from the front if you've DNF that. So now on to M5, which in this scramble is C or 3. So I'll execute the start of the scramble, well the start of the solution correctly. And then instead of executing a three we like I meant, I'll just do a two for this example. And then can't finish correctly. Then when I X2, I will have the L edge unsolved and nothing else. And I have to solve parity again in that case. And finally for M6, which on this gamble is A or 1. So I will execute a 2 for this example of a DNF by that. So And so when you X2, you'll have the U edge unsolved. And so those are the five ways you can DNF on the back in 7 simul due to a memo error. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer all of them. And I hope this has been a helpful video for people.